Hey everybody, there's a new release from iCrafter that just hit the online shop today. So I'm going to be using this awesome Fern Berries stencil, and this is from their new release. There are lots of things you can do with stencils, from ink blending, pastes, and I'm going to show you two ways to use this Fern Berries stencil today. I'm going to be working on uh, just regular red cardstock, and when I'm working on cardstock or really any surface with a detailed stencil like the Fernberry stencil, I like to spray the back with pixie spray. Now you might not think this is a fine detailed stencil, but those little stems have a tendency of shifting and there's portions of the stencil that kind of like to pick up on me. So that's why I'm going to spray the back with that temporary adhesive. I'm going to show you first heat embossing with this stencil. So I removed my stencil from my cardstock and I treated it with anti-static powder tool. Now the anti-static powder tool is a non-stick um, tool. So the pixie spray that I put on the back really didn't work. So I kind of used my fingers to hold the stencil in place as I squished my Versamark ink down on top. And because of that, you can see that some of the fine detail of the stencil was lost in my heat embossing. And I almost threw that piece away, but I really kind of liked that bold gold against the red. So I'm going to keep it, but I'm going to also show some ink blending with the stencil so you can see the fine detail. I'm going to just use some white pigment ink, and there you can see the detail of the stencil. I'm going to add some two colors of gold watercolor ink spatters on top of here just to kind of up the detail a little bit. And from there, I'm just going to finish off these cards very simply with a die cut sentiment. My merry and bright sentiment I cut from foil cardstock, and this is from the Holiday Dovetail card die set. And I will show you that die in just a moment. All I did was cut two colors of green circles and then a... a a strip of white cardstock, it's about a quarter of an inch, and I'm just going to layer all of these together and create simple, easy elements to go on top of these card backgrounds. So this fern berry stencil is something that you can absolutely use for your mass-produced Christmas cards this year if you want to create a bunch of these holiday cards. So here's the fern berry stencil two ways, this first way with the heat embossing, and then the second way with that subtle ink blending with the white pigment ink. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you again soon. Bye. Thank you again very much for watching this video. If you liked this video and you'd like to see more from me, please hit that subscribe button that is on the screen now. And here are a few other videos that I thought you might enjoy.